hi everybody and welcome back to my channel it's your girl zizi Ponkasa, and i'm back with another video so welcome welcome to everybody that's watching if you're new to my channel welcome and i hope that you enjoy the video that i am obviously making i hope you enjoy the type of content that i have and if you have any questions about the products that i use please um leave a comment in the comment section if you have any i don't know ideas or looks that you would like me to try definitely leave that in the comment section as well and for those that have been here my ogs that have been here before welcome back i hope you're here to enjoy again yet another video so please subscribe to my channel i like the video click that bell button if you ever want to see if there's a notification from me and without wasting any more strength or energy let's get into the video okay so in this video we're going to be recreating this look obviously on the other eye and this is a look that i feel is natural okay maybe let me let me not say natural but it's not as outgoing it's not too bright it's not too shiny it's a look that you can wear and be like okay a little bit sophisticated but not too over the top that's what i get from this look so this is what we're going to be doing today for this look we'll be using three different palettes we'll be using the huda beauty amethias obsession palette and the topaz palette and at the same time we'll also be using the good day um sydney essence palette okay so from these three palettes it's going to be oranges purples and then some shimmers that's what we're going to be using so let's get it kicking so the first thing that we do for this video is i like to put powder after i've put on concealer I like to put on some powder i tend to find that this helps my shadows apply much better especially because i prefer to make circular motions when i blend out when i blend out my my eyeshadows therefore i prefer to to put some powder underneath it helps it blend out much more easier so the first colors that we will be using is in the Huda Beauty Topaz palette. Those are the, so we'll be using these two. As you can see, I love this color. It's almost finished, but it's okay. So just dab. And I'm going to just press that lightly over the lid of our eye. If you go over your crease area, don't worry about it. That's okay because we will blend this orange as high as we can go so now we will just blend as much as you want to try to get the orange to go closer as close as possible to your brow line and as well make an angle after your this isn't the tear duct is the size I don't know what this is but like just make an angle from there going upward and just blend that out until it's all nicely blended after that is blended that is it we are done with the orange you do not necessarily have to use the the Huda Beauty Topaz palette obviously any palette that has similar colors you can even try with pinks if you want or reds or peaches and creams that's okay there's no problem with that now the next thing we're going to use is we're going to take a flat brush that should look similar to this and we're going to go to the Good Day Sydney palette and we're going to use uh, where's that shimmer? We're going to use these two shimmers over here. So we will take preferably use a brush that has a bit of an angle, not a straight brush, but a bit of a curve to it. But if you don't have a brush like that, that's okay, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to take that and ooh, see that shimmer we're going to place some of the shimmer on the lid of our eye and the reason that it helps to have a circular brush is the fact that it will be easy to make the shape that shape this shape right here so that will be so much easier to do with a circular brush but it's Still should be able to work with any type of brush just make sure that it is a flat brush okay 
seems about right seems about right okay if you have hooded eyes like me i don't like to go too much with my arches because it ends up defining my hoodedness and so i try to avoid that at all costs so user discretion is advised now the next one we'll be using is the huda beauty amethyst palette and we'll be using a dark purple any form of dark purple that you have is fine and depending obviously on the other shades that you've used so we'll take this purple and put it in the v area of our lid so we're just going to keep patting that on until it actually goes into our lid now as we do this some will come over above you see this part here but it's not straight it's not looking cute don't worry about that what we will do is we'll end up blending that the most important thing at the moment is to make sure that the purple and the shimmer blend nicely into one another thank you and then the same color i like to use a more pointed brush it's a bit fluffy but it's more pointed and with this you will go around and closer to the closer to the inside of your eye and then that you stop there and we will go back to our bigger brush and now we will just blend that out so we blend our purple out Keep blending. Ooh, trying to make sure these match. Okay. And that's it. So that is literally it for the eyeshadows. There's nothing more you can do. If you're feeling a bit fancy and you would like to do some extra swoops, some extra patterns, feel free to do what you will. Makeup is all about expression. Express yourself. Do what you want to do. Nobody's going to say it's wrong. Now, the last and final step, which is the hardest for me, honestly speaking, doing some cat eyes, some liner, especially with the liquid liner, is so hard for me because I can never match my left to my right eye or my right to my left. Let's just hope for something to happen. So what we'll be using is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Mega Liner. So we'll be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is really good and it's quite cheap. It's about 65 Rand at most pharmacies. Well, I bought this at Clicks. I don't think this game has. I think it's only available at Clicks. But 65 Rand is not bad for a liquid liner. Yeah. And it's 3.5 milliliters. You don't need that much, obviously, for liquid eyeliner. So let's go in and hope we'll be able to do this cat eye. So... I don't want to talk during this but so the first step obviously is to draw one straight line up and then try to see if it will go back down that's what we always do i cannot see properly she not bad she not bad she trying okay I just realized now that I actually covered the camera while I was doing that, but I'm here now. I'm here now. And so that is the completed look. It is, a, I found this is so natural, guys. Like, this is the everyday look. Unless you're very into no colors. If you're into no colors at all, you can definitely do this with browns and peaches only. It will still work the same. And then swoop it out. This is me putting on my fake fake eyelashes 
So let's imagine in our heads that I put on some gorgeous mink lashes. Yeah. So <laughs> thank you everybody for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, do what you gotta do, you know. And then if you want to see more picture posts, I will post some pictures on Instagram. I will link my Instagram account down below if you would like to see the pictures of this look. And thank you again. Bye-bye.